All right, so here we go. Amazing John Dowd, and there's another one. I love this Florida puddle here. Michael Moss, gorgeous painting. I forget this guy's name, but it's a beautiful, beautiful large piece of Ritz Carlton uh, in Boston coming over here. Yes, this was actually in the gallery, um, but the consigner decided that he wanted to move ahead and sell it. So that's a George Yader, incredible, great actually deal considering what we were selling it at the gallery. This is the attributed to Hawthorne. Uh, if you have questions about this, because again, it is attributed, it's not signed, it's got the uh, age appropriate plaque. Um, and there's all sorts of information I can give this to you, uh, give to you about this to uh, sort of uh, assure your confidence in bidding. This is a great Lucy Longo picture. Uh, uh, excuse me, called uh, Picasso-esque, excuse me, great William Longle. Look at that. Love his working pieces. Those, uh, that's watercolor. Okay, then we come down here and do some of these prints. We've got lots of nice prints in this one. White Line with Block Print by Mary Molyneux. She is a rare artist. Great William Zorak. Todd Lindemuth. And then this amazing piece, uh, Agnes Weinrich with the original block in it. And from what I heard, there's a copy of this being sold for <laughs> a whole lot of money in town. All right, this is a T.J. Walton triptych. It's beautiful, it's on wood. Coming up here, Robert Cardinal. Uh, this is a piece that, uh, actually not sure who that is. It was in the gallery for a while, um, but uh, it's just a lovely early piece of the monument. Here it is, look at it. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, you know, <sighs> I'm saying that, you know what, I think that's Charles and Marion Hawthorne. Look at his outfit. Um, that just seems really appropriate, age appropriate too. All right, Paul Resica, one of the small Adele's. Then we go, great Ray Nolan. And look at this, Nancy Wharf. Whoa, Johnson Street, and here we are. And we're right around the corner from the hammock shop. All right, no name, beautiful, lovely color. Then we got the um, portfolio. All the prints are in great shape of the Pat de Groot. Remember, like, e I'm not gonna pull them out. Coming over here, everybody loves this Cheney, this great sailing woman, and this is that amazing, amazing Peter Busa. Um, it's just incredible. Uh, of course, there are some like paint loss little things down there, but um, it's one of his best. Uh, all right, there's one of the three Ann Packards in the paint, in the, excuse me, in the auction, the Dory. Then we have this one, it's just a Provincetown School early painting class. We had this in the gallery, but again, the consigner decided they wanted to, to go ahead and sell that. Um, John Foster, lovely. No name, uh, it's signed, but we can't read it, but that's just lovely, Burt Yarbrough. This is a great piece, it's not a print, it is actually uh, mixed medium, all sorts of fun stuff. This is a beautiful Lucy Longo, and I can tell I need to clean the glass on that. Um, but this is a watercolor, this is 1953. Fabulous. Then we go, Alona. Alona's portrait of Henry Henshi, which was in the Pam show called Henry Henshi, the legacy of, legacy of, I'm not sure. Great piece. Early, uh, Cape Cod School of Art. It's got the Cape Cod School of uh, Art label on the back. That's an early piece. This is a great Bogosian. Um, these are Scrabble pieces. It's called Van Gogh's Ear, and that is a big metal plate. No name, Provincetown um, School rooftops. Arthur Cohen had this in the gallery, but it's just time for you to take advantage of it. Look at that detail here. Fabulous. Here's another Ann Packard. Uh, Mila's Doorway, 1985. We've got early Packards this time. It's really attractive. And there she is. There's the big one. Big Ann Packard. Stepping back just so you can get the frame of reference. There's the wall. It's a big one. So uh, look at it. Incredible. Incredible 1981. All right, Mary Hackett, uh, becoming more, um, not more popular, but uh, she's sort of, since the article early this spring uh, about her in the Independent, um, this is the hatch shell. It's got a few little condition issues up there, which can be easily fixed by Christina Bird. Um, great Bud Hopkins, this is an oil, I'm getting reflection, not an oil, an ink. There's a signature down there. Great dark piece. Um, boop, 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 John Hare, one of two John Hares. Um, E.W. All oh, I am so sorry, Jones, um, and I do know the first name, but it's a really lovely roll of piece. It's behind glass, but it is a watercolor. There's that great Chet Jones, another Jones, Alexander, Joseph Alexander, Ed Walsh, beautiful piece. And next to it is a T.J. Walton, one of several. 
bottles and then oh look there we go behind my desk there is stepping back perspective there's my lunch tj walton okay coming over here brace is the last name it's a beautiful piece not provincetown but obviously new england probably rockport and silva john clayton Ernest Principato, and the last John Dowd. Always like this lens coming back to us. I think we sold them in 2015. Oh, the guardrail, and that is auction preview.